Hey guys, Oscar here for Not A Grouch and I'm very excited about today's video. It should be very short. Maybe I made a video before about this, I don't know, but I've certainly blogged about it and I wanted to tell you um, Grammarly, my, one of my favorite top extensions, just released an update and I wanted to show you the video that they put out because this is amazing. You know, I, I get people that send me emails all the time say, hey, can you review this before I send it out? I want to make sure one, I say what I want to say correctly, and two, I don't offend anybody, and I'm pretty good at that. I'm pretty good at putting the right tone on your email the way that it should be, whether you're trying to convince somebody to buy something or explaining something to a body of, you know, committee, anything like that. <clears throat> email doesn't have a face like you're seeing right now. They don't have, it doesn't have emotion. And while we have emoji and images and stuff, it doesn't always work when you do that, but the words that you say mean a lot more than the actual meaning of the word. So Grammarly just introduced this. So let me show you what it is real quick. Check it out. So that's it guys, uh, if you want to know more about Grammarly, go to the link below. Grammarly allows you to already check tone or the type of context, whether you're addressing a general general audience or technical, whether you want it to be friendly or casual, that, that kind of stuff. It also allows for a really good selection of synonyms, so you don't have to go to your dictionary or uh, thesaurus online to find a better word for what you're doing. It takes the context of what you're writing and gives you the good synonyms for that. And now with this, this is another level that they've taken it to. So highly recommend you go check it out. The links are down below. I use the paid version, but it is free if you want to use the free version. I'm not sure if this is available with the free version, but the, some of the other features are, um, but I highly recommend it. It works almost everywhere. Facebook, on your chat, on email, on Word, when you're writing a blog post, when you're writing whatever, I think it takes care of almost everywhere I write. And if it doesn't, you always have the web version where you can put in your text and review it there, or you have apps for desktop, you know, for your laptop and stuff. So anyway, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.